what is architecture for you? Huh. Um, it's one of those questions that um, we make a living and we work out all this all the time and, and in a strange way I don't think we stop too much to think about that. What is it? Um, a while ago, a good friend of mine in Argentina, another architect, very colorful guy, um, was talking about some other colleague. And honestly, by now, I don't remember if this was what he said, but my interpretation of it was that architecture is a genius solutions, genius solutions to non-existing problems. That like through architecture, you really work on things that they really don't have any specific predetermination problem. Now, I know that that goes against most of the grain, what well, the common definition when people think about architecture. But I really think, to, for me, architecture is more is, is more like an, it's a cultural problem and not necessarily um, a craft problem. But in any case, I will say that the closest thing I, I can say what architecture is. Architecture, in my view, is the material expression of very abstract and conceptual desires and concepts. And what can architecture do? Um, I think architecture can do whatever architecture pleased to do. Um, I don't know. My take will be one of the things that I'm at. Let me put it this way. The thing I'm interested in that architecture can do is I'm interested in architecture being uh, a seismographer, architecture as a mechanism to define a particular moment in time. Architecture can do synthesize culture, politics, and economical forces in one thing better than any other discipline, than I, any creative discipline that I can think of. What I think architecture can do is to provoke uh, people, what architecture can do is to challenge people, what architecture can do and should do is to make uh, a frictional relation, an uncomfortable relation, one that allows us to rethink about our own position, our own relationships with space, with time, with culture. Um, now, should architecture must do that? Probably not. But that's what I'm interested in architecture can do. Um, I think also architecture can transform. One thing is what architecture can do, another thing is what architecture is doing. It's a different thing. So I think the aspiration of what architecture can do, it goes through what I said. What architecture is doing is a whole different thing, and, uh, and that maybe is okay. Uh, how do you position yourself in a discourse architecture? Uh, horizontal. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Well, I position myself in relation to our, uh, uh, with the tradition, but not the tradition, with the notion of architecture uh, on the humanist side, on the artistic effect of architecture. I position myself with the discourse that uh, challenge the status quo, I position myself with the discourse and challenge um, the idea of architecture as a service, the idea of architecture as a problem solving. Uh, I position myself with the discourse of architecture as, um, as an exploration of the human condition, as an exploration of technology and evolution, and the architecture as an expression of progress. Um, but at the same time, I would say within that, I think there are micro discourses. It's, it's an interesting problem because architecture is a is one of the few fields that we use the definition of architecture and architect for pretty much any kind of it, which in other disciplines they have like very specific areas of expertise. So I identify myself or I position myself with um, with the notion what I would call uh, an speculative architecture, a, spe a speculative way of practicing architecture, to speculate other territories. Or, uh, but I would say, to put it very simple, I, I position myself with the notion of fringe architecture. And uh, what is your preferred design method? Uh, <laughs> uh, my preferred design method. Um, 
To do that, first I will have to accept that I have a method. And I like to think that I, I am very, I'm very, uh, very childish when it comes to those things. I like to be like a child playing in the sense of, uh, I think I like to work with multiple methods. So, but if, I would say my, my preferred medium is right these days it has to do with computers and how we can work with that and i'm interested in a completely um immersive radical relation with the computer in the sense of i like to work there i don't like to sketch i don't like to work with my hands um i like to have like a kind of a cold distant relationship with the work so the computer is a really good intermediate and so on. And at the same time, then my per the method is to corrupt that and to figure it out where there's a possibility for contamination and dirtiness in relation to it. So there are, there are multiple methods within that, but then at the same time, I would say it's highly dogmatic and in a way highly reductive and highly specific. So my preferred method will be that I said is a, is a conflict, is a permanent conflict and friction between almost two contradictory logics or two contradictory methods. The one comes from the rigor and absolute systematization and comes from working with digital, algorithmic, computational way of producing stuff, but at the same time throwing at it all the time like the most radical and nasty and dirty agents of contamination I can think of it and it's always in that permanent friction what I think it is. I don't know if that constitutes really a method but certainly I would say is um, the way I work.